Yo, what's going on guys? Thanks for checking out the video. Today what I want to talk to you guys about is a major update that happened overnight. Now I know I'm pretty late on this, it's because I had to go to work, but anyways, we have a whole bunch of new stuff coming. First off, we have two new characters being Sakura Haruno, beautiful attire, and Hinata Hyuga, elegant attire. Being that these are the new six stars for the new banner. Now, what I want to tell you guys is for now, if you pull these characters, the increase is going to last until February 5th. So you can read right at the bottom saying normal effect is restoring 150 to 200 health. But since it's a little boost right now, it'll do 300 to 400 health. Same thing going for Hinata. Instead of doing just boosting attack by 80 to 160, it boosts attack by 300 to 400. So that's pretty decent. Now Sakura's first Jutsu is going to be Palm Sage Jutsu which is just restoring 2125 but in parentheses you can see it says 2825. So that'll be until February 5th but then it'll go back to 2125. And for her secret technique Full Blossom Cherry Blossom Clash you do 6 times attack toward all enemies in range but for now it's 9 times attack toward all enemies in range. I think that this Sakura is pretty freaking good i would love to pull this to complement that so we have protective 8 trigram 64 palms which does three times in parentheses 5.5 attack toward all enemies in range until february 5th but it'll go back to three times attack am i really that interested in it i mean it's only four chakra requirements so eh but her gentle step twin lion's fist it only requires eight chakra and it does 15 times attack for now until february 5th you know, I really hope that they actually keep these numbers instead of just having it regular number because that'll be really OP. But other than that, her gentle step twin lion's fist does 11 times attack towards one enemy in range and it has a 30% chance of jutsu ceiling for 5 turns. So that's pretty boss. It's pretty good. Aside from the banner, we have a brand new purchasable Tsunade. Now you can get this Tsunade if you purchase some stones being that it's Tsunade gorgeous attire and man did she look gorgeous for an old lady. But but yeah, she's a skill type unit and she's really good with her base 1458 strength. For her first ninjutsu, she has summoning Katsuyu. Now that's a really good summoning because it restores 2550 health to one ally and it grants perfect dodge up to two times within three turns. So that's really good. That really is good. And then for her secret technique, Paradise Pure Land that does six times attack toward all enemies in range. So that's awesome too because she's an attack all unit. So heading back on to see what's going on right now. Right now we have Hiromaru and Kushina's raids going on. Let's talk about the main two that's coming soon. Impact, Raging Fury, Four Tail Naruto. Not really Four Tails but Four Tail Shroud. The Demon Fox Claws is his first ninjutsu. I wonder how much damage that'll do. And then his secret technique is going to be Chakra Gun. Now I don't know what element he'll be but I have a feeling he'll be somewhere around body and if not body he's going to be bravery but a little bit of wisdom is there as well for my speculations but I would say that he's gonna be bravery just because but other than that I would definitely like grind the shit out of this one because I want this Naruto real bad I already got the one tail shroud Naruto the four tail shroud Naruto would be amazing as well and then last but not least, we have the next raid coming, which is Kimimaru. Everybody was asking, is Kimimaru coming? And well, we got the answer. Now, if you guys are wondering, he's going to be the body type element. Because I've already seen leaks of it, and it's going to be body type, not skill type. And he is going to be mid-range. So if you guys have skill type team, I recommend getting a 99 luck skill type and grinding the shit out of Kimimaru. Because he's going to be well worth. And then for limit breaking, we have Itachi. Hiruzen, Sasuke, and Guy. So these are four good cards that's gonna get limit break. Now I don't mind. I would limit break these characters, although I only have three of the four. And last but not least, we got the campaign, which is double Rio and friend points when you play story mode. So if you're playing story mode and you guys were whining and complaining that you're not getting enough Rio, there's your chance of getting more Rio. It's gonna be double the amount. So. That's an actual plus, but I just really wish they would just go with the mission and just give S rank and an A rank to the Rio mission. Why won't you do that? That'll help so much. Everybody will be so happy about that. So that's it guys. Thanks for checking out the video. Smash that like button if you haven't already and subscribe if you haven't already as well. 
And if you guys are hyped for the new Four Tail Shroud Naruto and the new Kimimaru that's coming out, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.